Hello again. Last time I talked about how to move an entire row of data from one tab to another within the same spreadsheet. This time I want to take that one step further so that the data can go back in case whatever reason that needs to happen. So in this case, I have new items and complete items. Let's say someone came in and marked something complete and then they found out the next day that, hey, it actually wasn't complete and needs to go back to the new until it actually has been completed. So that's what I have set up this time. Let's go ahead and click here and it's going to move over to the other sheet. And then they come in and say, hey, task number 422 isn't actually complete. We need to put that back to the new column or the new sheet. The code is very simple, different. So here's the code that we used last time. And it says, if it is not the new sheet, then quit. In this case, we don't want that. So in this case, I actually declared the initial parameters at the top outside of the sheet name because that's going to be true regardless of which sheet. If the edit is made on column one or, or row one, sorry, if the edit is made on row one or the edit is made on anything except column three, we don't want to run the rest of the script, so return at that point. Then I declare the destination variable. And if it is the new sheet, I'm going to instantiate that destination variable on the complete sheet. If the source is complete, then the destination is new. And I set it up this way because the actual action is identical regardless of which sheet was chosen. In either case, it's going to take the source sheet and move the row from the source sheet to the destination sheet. The only thing changing is which sheets are source and destination. But we've declared both of those source here as the active sheet where the edit was made and destination depending on which source sheet was, was declared. The actual moving and deleting code is exactly the same as last time. We're going to get the full range of the row, move it to the next row plus one of the destination sheet, and then delete the row from the source. So again, it works just fine. Let's go ahead and move 487 to complete, then come over here and realize we need 487 to go back to new. And just as before, it adds the row at the bottom before adding that. 